Twisted Fate, Olaf, Olaf jungle probably. Could be Olaf top lane. Could be. Or Riven. I guess Riven's fine. Riven, Riven's fine here because Riven can play against Olaf fine. Can play against Riven. Can play against Nami. Twisted Fate's a little annoying against Riven, but I still don't know what I'm going against top lane. If they pick Poppy here, Poppy actually could make my day a bit more difficult. But we have no dashes after. Okay. Well, it's basically it's basically a farm lane this game, huh? Tenacity's fine. I'm gonna start D shield. Actually, I don't. I might not need to. Just going to City R might be better. This prevents dives with stopwatch down here. We got this. See, the, the, the main thing here though is that we have an autofill jungle. So there's actually a good chance we just straight up lose just for Joseph jungle alone. Oh, it's these guys dual queuing again. I like how I like how you could just check OP that GG. You see, like if people just dual queue all the way up to like top ten, it's just like 85%. You could literally barely lose as two challenger players. And people wonder why I say that you should that should, dual queue shouldn't be a thing. You used to bank in every game, Adrian. I used to. He got nerfed a bunch though. Ezreal Yumi, how does Ezreal Yumi do against Raven Nami? This guy one tricks in and I'm pretty sure, so it's like a, he, he knows the matchup pretty much. The dot. So it's, I'm probably not gonna be able to play the game for like the first 10 minutes, but if somehow the, the game isn't over by then, I might be able to do something. Is that Rez? I'm pretty sure it is, yeah. He's the only kind of player that plays in this heal. Actually, there used to be, the, there's probably quite a few, but I think he's the one, the only one that boosts. He's always on a different, like, boosting account, like, Elo Daddy, Raging Elo, Elo Vader, TLB. <laughs> 
every month or so he switches the boosting. Well, they have 20% CDR, I can win this match on. But I have to wait until I have those items, so I need like 1600 gold or something, then I should be able to do it. It's gonna take me a little while. Why not D shield? Because I can actually look for kills with, that, with longsword if the, if the cannon misses up even once. But if I have D shield, if the, if, the, if the cannon fucks up, I can't punish him. Hey, Fog, thanks for the host, man. Fog, what do you think about uh, people who do a queuing, like in one KLP challenger? Just going like two challenger players and just fucking smashing. Yeah, these guys I'm going against, Rez and uh, I don't I don't know who the AD carry is. I probably know them. The uh, just going like 90% win rates, like up to like one KLP, and people wonder why I say that they do a queue shouldn't be a thing. AD carry sums. Okay. Okay, I don't know that guy. Like I'm serious. If you get if you get to high elo, like duo queuing, you, it's not your actual rank. I'm telling you, like it's really not. That's your duo queue rank, not your solo queue rank. Solo duo. That's because the system duo queue and lower elo is perfectly fine because it, it, there's enough players to offset that. But it, it, you cannot calculate a player's skill in like insanely high MMR, so it doesn't really punish you for for duo queuing. You're still gonna have matchups that are like if you if you're if you if you're really 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 good, you're both gonna win lane really really hard and just carry the game off of it. Like, I don't care about duo queue all the way to like D1 master, but then the moment you hit that MMR, you shouldn't be able to do it. Because it's just, it's really, really, really annoying. This Draven, for example, if he starts getting a lead, they can communicate so well, like when to when to trade uh, lanes or when to when they're gonna fight, when, when to engage. It's fucking punishing. Wasn't duo blocked in high level seasons ago? Yeah, and then they brought it back for some reason because people were complaining that I think pros were complaining that they, they weren't getting their LCS uh, bot lane duo practice, you know what I'm saying? And I think about that and it's really fucking dumb. If I had dodged the last axe, I would have been in a pretty good spot. Yeah, so let's get my 20% city armor. Yeah, I'm gonna start getting their duo practice, but watch LCS and I can't see it. Cap on. Yeah, I can't see it either, man. You know what, man? I feel like I should get two challenger players just just because fuck the ladder, right? Because people keep doing this shit to do with you. I'm gonna do it with someone, and then I'm gonna have one of my buddies in challenger, like one KLP, just do it, just like snipe us and queue with us, and then we try queue. We get we all of us get like top three, top three ranks, and then it's like oh well, well I mean we're not breaking the rules. Yo, 
Actually, is try queuing breaking the rules? Like, if the guy queue just randomly queues up at the same time as us, and then he gets on our team. Is that breaking the rules? Nope, not breaking the rules? Perfect, I'm gonna, I'm gonna find someone to do that with. What if he goes against you though? Then he dodges. Minus 3 LP, who cares, right? We have three chances of, of just dodging. Minus 3 LP. Since there's so little, like, so little amount of players in this game, if you have, like, for example, two rules locked and then that person decides to go jungle or support, whatever he wants to go, super high chance of just stomping and getting him getting on your team. I'm actually gonna do that. I'm gonna message a couple of buddies in my own town. We're gonna, we're just gonna do that. Hey, there's no, we're not breaking the rules. It's fine. And it's a massive, massive advantage. You're missing all the CS. It's on purpose because if I take some CS without having like a specific place in the lane to trade, I lose my entire HP bar. This matchup is a counter to Riven, so it's like I, ha I have to play it like this. seems to be winning, but I, I, there's nothing I can do that. He will be in the new team consistently? No, in challenges it doesn't, it doesn't work like that. Because all we have, all you have to do is make sure that, for example, if I'm duo queuing with a 1k LP player, that the third guy that's queuing up with us is like 600 LP, 500 LP, a little bit lower LP. If he gets in our game with that amount of LP, that's it, like, it, it, this isn't gonna put him with us because he's putting lower skill quote unquote players in our team, right? somewhere else while this tower falls. Yeah, no, never mind. See, this is what I'm talking about. Like, fuck. That's so... I like, it instantly fucking communicates. We can win this. Smurfing though. 
the way they're duo queuing though, because it's like AD carry and top lane instead of like two roles that work together. Actually, give a chance to play here and there, but it's like team team oriented. It's not really something I can deal with. That's actually gonna be my next thing. Screw it. Yeah, I've been getting fucked way too much by people that, that are just duo queuing, including like late late at night when I play. It's literally LCS pros just duo queuing with each other too. It's like I'm actually just kind of bored of it. Start doing. Hey, Master Fiend, you want to do it? You know? Actually, no. Let's not just do him. I want to do something. Let's try Kia. It's not against the rules, right? And everyone's just fucking having fun. So, just bring someone else with us too. Let's queue up at the same time. Not against the rules, forehead. I want to do a wave of the Tempest. He goes mid, I go top lane, and then we have a jungler that we're communicating with too. Yeah. Andrew's washed up. Where the Tempest is washed up? No, no. So good. Man, I'm, I'm, I want to do a key to get an advantage, not to carry baggage. At least Mo would be pretty. I, I mean, I, Mo won't fucking like. <laughs> Mo will play fine, but he won't hyper. I don't think he'll hyper carry. But Cutie, that's it. the fuck You're trolling. You're trolling. Later, later throughout the day, if I'm not playing, 
for like if I'm just not streaming or whatever, we can do it. Get those free ones. After this game? No, not after this game. Just then I, I don't, I don't, we don't have it set up. Man. We can do it. We can do it later then. Message, message me on Twitter. We'll find, a, we'll find a time of the day to do it. We're gonna piss off a lot of people at Solo Key, but people have been pissing me off all, like all week with that, with just spamming duo keys on me. So. I go against uh, yesterday, I'm pretty sure yesterday or two days ago, against, I go against Tarzan, do a QM with the ADC, like 50 0. Win record all the way to like Masters. I'm like, okay, well, have them on my team, easiest win of my life because they're actually rotating and making calls properly. If they get on the enemy team, even though I heart stump, it's just you can't do you can't work around them. Hopefully their team forfeits. Oh, I don't have to play this game. <laughs> balling smashing. Yeah. You know why balling smashing? You know you, you know this guy, the Draven, in the voice channel that or voice call that he's in with the cannon right now. He's flaming the fuck out of Naomi. Me. He's definitely flaming it. He's probably calling him, calling her season eight, diamond five, whatever. That that's literally what's happening in their voice call, in the voice call right now. I, I'm I'm serious. I'm not. I'm, if you check their voice call, that's probably what they're talking about. Season eight, da season eight, uh, diamond five, Nami or something. I haven't checked ranks, by the way. I haven't checked ranks, but because the because of the fact that this player is losing lane and he usually stomps with Draven, I have to put it that the, the chances of him losing lane right now are most likely on Nami than it is on him. Tomb Raider, it's me, Matthew. It's pretty good, man. I, uh, what do you call it? I, I think I'm like two hours in or something like that into the game. It's pretty fun. We get top tower here and we get mid tower. I don't think we get the inhib. We're just getting the mid towers and I'm back off. These guys playing Draven Cannon every game. Well, this guy has a Cannon one trick, and the uh, the Draven suck. Uh, actually, I don't know about one trick. Cannon main, and this guy's a Draven main, so that's why they all want to spam because that's what they have the highest win rate with in every lane.
don't want to do this here because the whole thing's kind of. Oh, I just baited you, huh? Poor Oriana. I mean, I knew they were coming, but I know I can get out. The, uh. The Oriana, though, she has no. No way to get out of that. Meanwhile, Ezreal Yumi is fucking killing everything. Suck. Yeah, she is broken as well. You heard a scene yesterday, or before yesterday actually. I don't actually remember the exact date. I was playing against the uh, LCS duo and they were playing Lucian Yumi, and well, we had no chance. Sorry, uh, sorry, am I complaining too much about duo Q? I think I feel like I'm complaining too much about duo Q. Hey, you know what? But it's it's for a reason. But you know what? I'm not gonna complain anymore though. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna abuse it myself as well. I'm just gonna find duo partners to play with all the time. She picked the best champion in the game. I'm gonna give her a tilt proof. Look at this. I impacted this game quite a bit with the cannon just fucking poking me down the whole game. Look at this. 